On January 6th, we held a test race for Ariel on the 2023 preseason Supercross track. I have been grinding Supercross, so I had a pretty decent expectation for myself. An hour before the race started, the OEM team dropped the brand new Beta 18 OEMs on us. This shook things up like crazy, but I was feeling very confident in my speed and especially my consistency on these new bikes. So I was able to qualify into the night show for 250 in the EU region, qualifying around 25th to 30th with a 53.9. Heat One's 15 second car goes up and the absolute worst thing happens. My controller disconnects. You see, I have been having controller issues for months now, but I haven't really been able to afford a new one, so I had been trying to just milk the controller along. I finally get the controller reconnected just as everyone is rounding the first turn. I was in panic mode and decided to make this extremely questionable decision to absolutely yeet myself into this pit of chaos. My decision to yeet myself actually kind of worked out as I started to make up a ton of positions. Then in the whoop section, everyone decided that they would have another pileup and I stuck my way through that. Miraculously, I found myself inside the top 10 and I was actually riding pretty well. After Thompson's bike tried to kill me, I set my sights forward. I knew with the newfound consistency, I could qualify straight into the main through this heat. If you guys have ridden these new OEMs on a supercross track, you know that you have to be completely straight when entering the whoops. Well, unfortunately, right here, I learned that lesson the hard way and I go down, but what's even worse is my controller disconnects yet again and this time it just leaves me sitting in the middle of the whoops. But that's not the end. My controller decided to disconnect again and again and again before it just finally wouldn't reconnect. I had been a big enough hazard and I had made enough people crash because of my controller, I decided that I would call it quits for EU. Just kind of stop the bleeding. But what do I do now? I need a controller to make content and I need a controller to race. I went upstairs, talked with my wife, we scrounged up like every extra penny we had to get me a new controller. We loaded our kids up and went to Target and I grabbed a controller with enough time to come back and try and qualify for the North American race. Now between EU and NA, everyone started to figure these new bikes out and I had to put down a really solid lap of a 52 flat, which was almost two seconds faster than my EU time, but that was only fast enough to qualify me 39th. Because I qualified 39th, that meant I had the last gate pick for my heat and I had to start all the way on the outside. I was fully expecting to get absolutely deleted in the first corner, but I was able to actually kind of sneak my way through and get an insanely good start of like first or second. Now, I wasn't able to jump the triple here, so I did lose a few spots, and then I won't lie, my nerves got to me a little bit right here, and I made a huge mistake with Trevor. But I actually think that mistake actually helped me a lot, because I knew after that mistake, I just needed to put my head down and ride an almost perfect race and you know what that's what i started to do i was really gelling with this gas gas i had a pretty decent setup and i just put my head down and knew that i could be as consistent uh, as i was in testing and just started to go forward my first lap jitters were really starting to go away and i decided to dive to the inside of sparks here lucky for sparks he's a better racer than me and he squared me up like old cooper webb and got back around me and, and pretty much just checked out or at least i thought he would Instead, he got a little swappage through the whoops and ended up collecting himself with Marco. I now found myself in fifth place and riding really, really well. To be honest, I wasn't even really that nervous at this point, which was really surprising for me because this was actually like my first Supercross race. And since I hadn't been able to qualify for any of the motocross season, uh, just being in the night show was a huge improvement and I thought that would make me very nervous, but it really didn't. Like I said, I was really vibing with this gas gas, but I actually found a flaw in it. You see, the gas gas makes all of its power in like the middle RPM range. So if the revs are low, it produces like moped amounts of power. It's very slow. The lack of low end power really cost me right here. Plus it might've been a skill issue on my end as I wasn't able to get over the finish. This allowed Sparks to get back around me. I then made the bonehead move to go through this entire rhythm section in first gear. Why? I don't know. M maybe I was nervous. Th that was dumb. And that allowed Pipple to get around me as well. To be honest, I probably could have closed the door on Pitbull, but I know Pitbull and he has got way more pace than me, so I wanted to be nice. And plus, he and Sparks both have a shot at winning the races, so I just didn't want to get in the way. Pitbull started to pull away from me a bit until this whoop section where I was able to get on top of the whoops and absolutely munch them for breakfast. This allowed me to close up right behind him and stick with him. I knew if I could stick with Pitbull, I would be able to qualify straight out of this heat into the main event. But then the worst thing possible happened. 
While in seventh, only two spots away from transferring, Pipple makes a huge mistake, and that mistake made me check up just enough where I couldn't get over this triple. Now, I should have just doubled, and to be honest, I'm a goober for sending the triple anyway, but whatever. And then to make things even worse, Carey gets all out of shape in these whoops, and his bike actually just deletes me. It seemed to be mistake after mistake for me, and I found myself back in 11th out of a transfer spot. With like two laps to go, I knew I just needed to send it and hope everyone else started to struggle just as much as I was. And lucky for me, that's exactly what happened. I started to see people leave, people make huge mistakes, and before I knew it, I was back in ninth, the final transfer position to get straight into the main event. As I was coming up to the finish line with one lap to go, I knew all I had to do was just hold on, hold on for one more lap and I would transfer. <clears throat> Classic Doc, just completely throwing his race. From that point on, I was kind of just stuck in 11th. I had a few opportunities to make passes, but I was just kind of off the pace enough to get to a transfer spot. So I guess to the LCQ we go, boys. Okay, so here we are in every racer's worst nightmare, a completely stacked LCQ. I actually had a pretty decent gate, and my plan was to sneak up the inside. And you know what, boys? That's exactly what I did. I did it. I got the whole shot in my LCQ. I'm going to qualify. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Get Pabobo, kid. After getting through that, just like perfect example of an MX bike start, I was able to make up a few spots. But then I had this huge mistake and I got stuck on this berm for like way, way too long. After that, this race consists of some of the worst luck I have ever had in MX bikes. I'm not even kidding. It was actually wild how many situations I was in that I just got unlucky. But I guess that's what I get for being in the LCQ in the first place. Okay, and I don't mean to put anyone on blast, but what is going on here? I mean, neither of us are in a transfer spot, and my man just shoves me off the track. I, I, I don't know. I don't understand. I, I, I get the first time he veered over into me, like, that, that's fair. Maybe he didn't know I was there. That's a racing incident. But then my man literally looks over his shoulder and then just turns into me. I don't know. Maybe he plays inverted. I, I don't know, man. Just strange activity. After that, I knew I only had like a half a lap left, so I just wanted to try and finish the race. I narrowly dodged this dude just doing some wild things in the whoops, like I don't even know what's going on. And then I almost killed Boban, who seemed to like appear out of nowhere, and I finally crossed the line in 13th. This was not at all the opening round I wanted to have, but lucky for me, it was just a test race, and I actually think there are a lot of positives to take away from this race. I had a ton of pace and quality, even on the gas catch, which is pretty mid. I've since been able to lower my times by like two more seconds. I can race well, I mean, unless I'm in the LCQ. Overall, I could not be more excited for A1. And you know what? I love you boys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!